Senator, it took 10 years to get rid of Joe Camel. Everyone was jumping around with their necks cut off about the cartoon character and cigarettes. That did not even end as a regulatory measure. It was voluntarily withdrawn by R.J. Reynolds. Meanwhile, Marlboro sales soared. You're all upset about Camel number nine, but how many days, months, weeks, or years will it take for more regulators to uh, uh, engage uh, our taxpayer money in, in looking at each variation of a brand name that comes along? Uh, the most dynamic, creative, expert marketing force in this country is Philip Morris. Uh, they have done wonders with any regulation. Uh, they've outwitted us. Um, uh, you know, three quick examples. Uh, this ad ran in the University of Alabama news student newspaper last week. Uh, they know all about, uh, the public knows all about what's been happening about smoking, but that doesn't seem to block Philip Morris from coming into universities, over 35 universities, and talking about how they have redefined not just cigarette marketing, but marketing in general to a one-on-one -on -one experience. And uh, the job uh, interviews are being held all this week. Uh, they're mailing to physicians. That's right, Philip Morris Tobacco Company is mailing its quit assist booklet to physicians and asking me if I want more copies for my waiting room. They're uh, promoting a youth uh, anti, -sm I call it anti-youth smoking program. Uh, and uh, we don't really, we, we say this is nonsense and of course it is, but this bill will not prevent this company from being as dynamic and creative as ever. I asked a college student, uh, why would you want to work for Philip Morris? He was interviewing for me. He says, oh, they, they don't just sell cigarettes, they help prevent smoking. 